Hello, my name is Douglas Spock. I'm an author and depression survivor. Welcome to your depression recovery channel where each week we talk about practical tools and coping strategies for healing from depression and anxiety. In my videos, the three steps to mental health recovery and the five top things to do if you're depressed, I talk about the healing power of the vision statement of wellness. I define this as a picture of what your life would look like and feel like if you were free from the symptoms of depression and anxiety. Before I share a process with you, uh, which will allow you to create your own vision statement, I want to explain why it's important. And it's important because as the businessman Paul Meyer once said, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. However, if you have nothing to look to, no goal, how can you achieve it if you don't have anything to shoot for? Uh, this is how Richard Williams put it. Richard Williams is the father and coach of Serena Williams, who has won 23 Grand Slam titles in tennis. And this is what he said. He, this is what he told the New York Times. It doesn't take money to be successful in tennis. It takes determination to do what you're going to do. With that determination and a great player and a great deal of hard work, you will succeed. I really believe that in order to be successful, however, you must have a plan. It can't be one in your head either. It's got to be one that's written down so your optical nerve can take it to your brain. So, here are the instructions for creating a vision statement of wellness which will be a central factor in your healing from depression. Imagine for a moment that you were in a state of health and wholeness. Imagine that your mental and emotional health were functioning at optimal levels. What would it be like for you to be in a better mood? How would your body look and feel? How much energy would you have available to you? How would you be feeling most of the time? What types of thoughts would you be thinking? What types of relationships would you have? What kind of work would you be involved in? What would your spiritual life be like? Drawing upon the answers to these questions, see if you can write a paragraph or more describing your vision of mental and emotional health. Try to use all five senses, sight, smell, hearing, touch, and taste. Try to make your picture as realistic as possible. Now, I would like to share a few simple rules that will help you to write an effective vision statement. The first is to write your sentences in the present tense. Uh, what sounds better? I am well or I will be well. I am healed or I will be healed. Uh, you can feel the difference. We live in the present, not the future. So words written in the present tense as opposed to the future tense take on a lot more power. Secondly, write your sentence in the positive, expressing what you do want, not what you don't want. Now, which sounds better to you? I am not sick or I am well. I am not poor or I am prosperous. When you use the word not, uh, the the subconscious mind doesn't hear not, it just hears the word after it. So if you say, I am not sick, it hears sick. This is why it's important to keep your statements in the positive and make sure you ask for what you do want, not for what you don't want. Third, a good way to create a vision statement is to take a symptom you now have and turn it into its opposite. For example, if you have insomnia, it's just write, I sleep deeply and soundly. If you feel hopeless, you can write, I have hope about the future, or I, or I have faith in my recovery. If you can't enjoy things or have no pleasure, which is what many people feel when they're depressed, you can write, I am enjoying the things I used to do, or I am enjoying tennis again, to be more specific. Now, to help illustrate what a good vision statement looks like, I'd like to show you a sample of a well-crafted vision statement written by one of the members of my groups. I freely express myself, showing the world who I truly am. I reach out to friends if needed when I have a problem. My life is filled with people who are totally supportive of me and I of them. My body and mind are in perfect balance, having abundant nutritional and neurotransmitter support. I feel peaceful and relaxed, and I find much joy in life. Now, as far as the length of your vision statement, it can be anywhere from a few lines to a page. In order to keep it manageable, I suggest one to three paragraphs. Finally, once you've written your vision statement, I suggest that you say it twice a day. And my suggestion is once in the morning, just as you're waking up, and once in the evening, just as you're falling asleep. 
This is a time when your subconscious mind is most receptive to any suggestion you give it. Uh, please let me know how this works out. You can email me, douglasblog at gmail.com, with the results of your vision statement. I hope it really brings you the healing that you seek. This has been Douglas Block. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you want to leave your comments for me, you can do so in the comments section, or you can email me, douglasblock at gmail.com. If you want to learn more about this work, you can do so during the closing credits. If you click on my photo in the upper left-hand corner, you'll be taken to my channel where you can subscribe. In the lower left-hand corner, you can click on the picture of my book and you'll be taken to my website, healingfromdepression.com. And if you click on the videos on the right, you can watch those. And until we meet again, I wish you the best in creating a vision statement of wellness that brings you the healing you seek. Thank you.